Hi, it's Paul here at Transport Vlog and I'm currently on Drake Street in Atarman and this is another update video on the Chatsworth Dive Site project. And the reason for this video is that on Monday the 22nd of March the new northbound North Shore line came into service. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you footage from the Friday before and then also from the Mowbray Road Bridge over the weekend show you some of the track work that went on and then show you a little bit of footage from the actual Monday and then also a bit of footage from today, this is the following Sunday. So on Friday the 19th of March, the track layout looked like this. All the lines in black are the existing lines that are being used, and the line in blue is the new northbound line that's going to go behind the Sydney Metro tunnels. So this is my last trip on the old northbound line between Artarman and Chatswood. The new northbound line will shortly appear on your right. The new northbound line then elevates slightly. You can see the electrical gantries, but there's no electric wires as yet. We've now gone under the Mowbray Road bridge, and this is where I filmed the track work over the weekend. The new line now goes behind the north and southbound metro tunnel entrances. This is the southbound tunnel entrance. Notice that the tunnel lights are on, and the new northbound line is now behind the tunnels. And here is the northbound tunnel exit. I'm going to miss these close-ups to the tunnel entrances from the old northbound line. The new northbound line comes to an abrupt end here and over the weekend the existing northbound line will be bent slightly to the right to connect with the new line. So you can see the old northbound line one more time. Here is the footage on a train from Chatswood to Otarman. Now over the next two days, the existing northbound line at the electrical gantry that's closest to you here was then bent very, very slightly to the right to connect with the new line, which is where that yellow construction truck is. I've slowed the footage down here, so you can imagine that track bending slightly to the right to where that yellow truck is. And here is where they would have cut the existing track and then welded it to the new track after moving it. The old northbound line was blocking the Sydney Metro Tunnel entrances, which is the whole reason for doing this in the first place. By the end of the weekend, this track had disappeared. So I've slowed down the footage here to explain what happened over the track work weekend. So just about here, the existing line was chopped and then the existing line was moved towards the new track and the new track was probably moved a little bit towards the existing line, so they came together. And this overhead gantry here, the new track alignment would be just to the left of the gantry, so the tracks move slightly to the right. And then where this signal is here, the track would be a little bit closer to that signal. And where this ballast is here, is where it rejoins the uh, existing track alignment. Got it? Let me know in the comments. Not got it? Keep watching and it will all make sense soon. So this is on Friday the 19th of March, the day before the track work took place. This is on the Mowbray Road railway bridge looking south towards Atarman. You can see that the electrical gantries are up on the new track, but no electrical wires as yet. And you can see where the new northbound track comes to an abrupt end. So over the track work weekend, they will cut the existing northbound track uh, adjacent to where that orange truck is at the moment. And then they will bend both the existing track and the new track until they line up with each other and then weld them together. So this is taken on Saturday the 20th of March around lunchtime. Pretty horrible day as you can see with lots of rain. Now by this time, they would have chopped the old northbound track where the uh, first track vehicle is and where the second track vehicle is, back towards the Tarman, this is where they're going to bend the existing track to meet the new track. You can also see the electrical wires starting to go up on the new track. So this is now Sunday morning, the 21st of March at around 8 a.m. You can see clearly here where the track was chopped on the old northbound line. 
you can now see that the original northbound track has now been connected to the new northbound track. They literally moved the track further to the right and are now welding it to the new part of the northbound line. It looks like ballasting work is currently taking place. A few days after the track work was finished, an official video was done and it has some great footage within the whole track work area. Some of it's speeded up and they make it all look so easy. It's a really interesting video and quite entertaining as well. So I'll put a link to that video in the description below. The overhead wires have now been removed from the old track and installed on the new track. I wonder if they reused the electrical wires from the old track or installed new ones. So this is later on the Sunday at around 5 p.m. The track work now looks complete and they're now working on the electrical wiring. You can now see lots of extra rails inside the old northbound track. I wonder where they've come from. So this is on the morning of Monday the 22nd of March. As you can see the job is all done and the line has reopened. And here's a Waratah train travelling on the new northbound track. This is now looking north towards Chatswood and we're back to Friday the 19th of March, so just before the track work took place. You can see the signal on the old northbound line showing a green aspect and you can also see the new signal covered up on the new track and also some work on the electric wires happening just behind the signal. You can also see that one of the new electrical wires has been installed on the gantries above the new track. I was wondering why there are two additional rails on the new track. If you know, do let me know in the comments. So it's now around midday on Saturday the 20th of March and the track work is well in progress. The electrification lines from the old northbound line have been removed and more electrification lines are starting to appear on the new northbound track. So as you can see, the weather is very wet and challenging for the 250 workers that are working around the clock to get this line reopened again with the new northbound line in time for Monday morning. This is now on Sunday morning the 21st of March and most of the workers are now up at the other end towards Chatswood. They would be in the process of linking the new northbound track to the existing track. But you can see quite a lot of work happening up there in the distance. You can see that all the overhead electrification lines are now installed on this part of the new northbound track. About one hour later there was a frenzy of activity on the old northbound track. I came back later on the Sunday at around 5pm and I was very surprised to notice that the rails on the old northbound line had gone. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they might have done this on an overnight possession or on another weekend. You can also see work taking place on the electrical wires and also on the new signal. Job done, signal switched on and now displaying a red aspect. More work happening on the overhead electrical wires. 
It's now Monday morning, the 22nd of March. It's still raining, but the work has been completed and the new northbound line is now in operation. I was amazed that this work was all completed on time. I mean, the weather over the weekend, really heavy rain, pretty much relentless, not stopping. There was flooding in other parts of Sydney. So I think it's, uh, well, like I take my hat off to these guys for uh, completing all this work on time in really difficult conditions. All that remains of the old northbound line is a few sleepers. You can see a Sydney Metro train in the distance and you can now see how the future track alignment will allow these trains to go straight into the tunnels. Operations went very smoothly on the first day, despite some signal problems in North Sydney that caused quite a bit of a backup in the morning peak. Here is the view from the Mowbray Road Bridge looking south on a day with better visibility. And this is looking north towards Chatswood on the same day, which was Sunday the 28th of March. Nothing has changed since the footage I showed on the Monday, the day that the line opened. I think all the uh, track workers were having a nice relaxing break after working so intensively over that weekend. Now for the bit you've all been waiting for, on-train footage on the new northbound track. So this train is leaving Artarman station. This footage was taken on Thursday the 1st of April and things have moved on a little bit by then. Next Just here as the Waratah train passes is where the northbound line starts to take its new alignment. You can now see the old northbound track with the extra rails that have been removed from further up. Now going under the Mowbray Road Bridge, you can see some of the remaining sleepers on the old northbound track. Now going behind the southbound tunnel entrance and the northbound tunnel exit. And with lots of groundwork going on here, it's quite hard now to see the old track alignment, although it becomes a little bit clearer here and it's at this point, as we pass the Sydney Metro sidings, that the new northbound line bends slightly to the right to return to its original alignment. You'll soon see the junction that allows the current Sydney Metro service to terminate at Chatswood by going into the siding from Platform 2 and then crossing this crossover to return into Platform 3. Now leaving Chatswood and heading towards Artarman. Look out for the signal just to the right of the northbound track. There it is. This is where the existing northbound track was moved slightly to the right to connect with the new northbound track at the start of the ascent just here. This is where quite a lot has changed in the last few days with lots of groundwork going on here as you can see. It's hard to see the old track alignment, although it's clearer here and you can see the old track bed and you can see some of the sleepers. and the rails that were removed are all here. You can now see where the old line was chopped and the southern part moved to align with the new track. And here is where it rejoins the original alignment. 
So as of the 22nd of March 2021, this is the current track layout south of Chatswood. Now the Sydney Metro tracks are free to be extended into the tunnels and I think that will happen quite soon. I'll check every couple of weeks from now on and as soon as something significant happens here, I'll do another video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, give it a like and do leave a comment below and do subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.